Welcome and thanks for taking the time to view this video where we will be looking at resolving large file uploads into Nutanix Prism's image configuration that error out during a direct upload with error image upload stream was interrupted. Three key considerations when encountering these issues are number one, the size of the file being uploaded, number two, the use of a web browser to upload the image. Current web browsers have a file size limitation of 4 gigabytes for HTTP put operations. And number three, the method used to upload the file. The image that we'll be using in this video is Kemp Technologies Virtual Load Balancer Disk Image for Nutanix AHV version 7.2.54.1.20.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.
Browse to and select the image file for upload. Then save the settings to begin the image upload process with the Developer Tools Network Capture set to record. A HTTP put status code 503 error for the upload task is discovered in a developer tools network capture. The image will show as inactive in the image list. There would be an image upload stream was interrupted error when hovering the mouse cursor over the failed task in PRISM. PRISM underscore gateway dot log will have an upload image socket timeout exception stack trace error for the input buffer along with the HTTP 500 internal server and unknown source errors. Control C will stop the log tail in the console. The inactive disk image can be deleted and another attempt can be made to successfully upload the image using HTTP or NFS URL options from PRISM or a CVM console. I'll upload the Kemp Technologies Loadmaster disk image to any CVM with FileZilla using SFTP protocol, CVM local admin account, and port 2222 to the preferred container. WinSCP, CLI, SFTP, or alternative options can be used in place of FileZilla. As you can see, I've already uploaded the image in respect of your time for this video. In the from URL text field, enter nfs colon forward slash forward slash the IP of the CVM forward slash container name forward slash file name. Alternatively, you can use a HTTP source replacing NFS with HTTP if applicable. Image upload is successful and the image is active. From a CVM CLI, you can list the image by typing ACLI space image dot list space pipe space grep space image name. To create an image with the file already uploaded from CVM CLI, type acli space image dot 
create space image name space source underscore URL equals NFS colon forward slash forward slash CVMIP forward slash container name forward slash image file name space container equals target container name space image underscore type equals K disk image. With the image uploaded, a VM can be created using the Clone from Image Service option and applicable resources from Prism's VM page Create VM link in the upper right of the page. Kemp Technology uses a minimum configuration with two vCPUs, 2 GB of RAM, 16 GB VDisk with IDE bus type for the disk and one or more NICs per their documentation. Please refer to Kemp Technologies documentation for additional recommendations. Once a VM is created, power on the VM, open a console to the VM, and continue to configure per preferences. This concludes this video on resolving large file uploads in the Dutanix Prism's image configuration that error out during a direct upload with error, image upload stream was interrupted. Hope that this was informative and that you enjoyed this video. We look forward to providing future content that may help you. If you find this video helpful and would like to help out this channel, please like the video, subscribe for future content, and comment below. Thanks and have a great day.